Thanks, Kurt. I can't believe I ended up forcing myself on the president. Oh. Mr. Pei has always avoided intimate relationship with women. When you wake up, I will definitely be kicked out of the company. Director Luo found the women with me last night. Mr. Pei doesn't remember it was me last night. That's a relief. I think it's Manjo who set the trap for me. She's been pushing me to marry the person she arranged to fight for the Pei's property. Find that woman. Make her disappear. I need to keep this hidden at all costs. If I am find out, not only will I lose my job, but I won't be able to pay the mortgage either. But also, my life is at stake. Assistant Ku, within 10 minutes, meet me in the hotel lounge immediately. <laughs> Only five minutes to go. Who's there? Wow. I didn't expect Mr. Pei is so hard. I should have tested those muscles when he was asleep. Now is not a time for fantasy. Gotta save my life first. I hope Mr. Pei doesn't get suspicious. Madam, we didn't succeed. Mr. Pei wasn't in this room all night. Beisha, you won't get away with it this time. The base property will all be mine sooner or later. Mr. Pei, are you looking for me? You are ten minutes late. Sorry, Mr. Pei. I overslept this morning. Oh no, how did I forget my necklace? Mr. Pei, last night, actually, it was me. Do you know who owns this necklace? He doesn't remember me wearing this necklace. No! What did you say you were doing last night? It was me. I was the one who personally took care of you. You even threw up on me. Mr. Pei, I totally deserve a salary raise. Any raise will be based on your performance. When you took me back to my room last night, did you see any other women? No! Let's head to the surveillance room. No! Miss Pei, you're working around the clock for such a little thing. You don't have to handle by yourself. Look, your eyes are getting dark circle. As your assistant, I should take this burden of you. For these tiny errands, let me handle it. Come back. Assistant Ku, what's with the red mark on your neck? I was bitten by a mosquito. There was a huge one in my room yesterday. It was a really big mosquito. President, here's an important document waiting for you to sign. I have to stop him from seeing the surveillance video. I I need to use the restroom. President, you were drunk last night. Assistant Ku is the one who took you back to your room. Do you think she could be that? Could it be her? She definitely doesn't have the nerve to do it. Wait a second. Last night, were there mosquitoes in your room? President, how did you know that? They woke me up in the middle of the night. It's just driving me crazy. Let's head to the surveillance room. Hey, emergency. My best friend, I need your help. I need you to disable the Agus Hall surveillance system. You 
you've only worked here for three months, and you've already caused such a big problem. Lei Sha, he is from the richest family in the Viper City. He is the head of the Sunshine Group. Think about it. If you piss him off, you will end up no good. I understand. I was just carried away and absent drank too much. Yeah, sure. Now, I only have you, my best friend, a genius in computer science. You are the only one who can help me now. I'll give it a try. How's it going? The security on the surveillance is really tight. Very tricky. President, the surveillance room is just ahead. How much longer will it take? It's tough to break through this level of security. Just give me a few more minutes. I'm going to stall him. Hey, over here, this way. Wait a moment! Mr. Bay, I want to tell you something privately. What is it? It's something very important. Go ahead. It's about you. Have you had breakfast? The steamed buns here are really delicious. Steamed buns? Uh, yes. Assistant Koo, my time isn't for wasting on these boring things. Mr. Pei, actually, I wanted to ask your clothes size. What do you mean? Just, actually, you're not only just my boss. But also, you're like a provider to me. So, I'd like to give you a gift to show my appreciation. Assistant Koo is acting really weird, asking all about food and clothes. She just couldn't help but hold me down. Is it because she... falls in love with me? I see. Assistant Koo, focus on your work. Don't get any strange ideas. What's going on? I'm over. And she couldn't disable it. And she ran off. What exactly happened? Oh, wow. Thank you. Nice job. President. I've looked into it. The drugs were from Madame Liang. Sure enough, it's Manjo. She moves quite fast. Even cats ahead to destroy the surveillance. My father really married a good wife. Assistant Gu, find out the owner of the necklace. I will destroy her. Yes! Mr. Bay. Ask me to find out the owner of the necklace? That's a tip that I need to be a cop. Ku Yin? Ku Yin? Coming! Oh no! It feels... Why does it feel so familiar? Where is Ku Yin? No entry here! Where is Ku Yin? Xu Jing Yu, why are you here? Mom is in danger. Come back with me. Leave me alone, I'm not going. If you touch her again, I will call security and throw you out. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's a bit low on blood sugar. Mom! Mom, don't leave! I'll give all the food to my brother. Please don't leave! Don't leave me alone! When I was seven years old, she almost killed me and abandoned me. Mom was dead to me since then. Sister, Mom has already realized her mistake. Can you bear to watch her die in a hospital bed? Assistant Koo, if there's an issue at home, you can take two days off. Go back home and visit your mother. Thank you, Mr. Payne. I will sell you to that old man when you go back. Then the dowries for my marriage will be all sad. President, Madame Liang is in a very strong position to force you to marry the women she arranged. That women must have been hidden away. 
Keep looking. Yes, President. Is Kuyin off work? Yes, she's just left. She's at a gate hailing a taxi. It feels quite cool in this room. President, you know it's burning hot outside today. I just heard there is a staff member with low blood sugar, fainted from sunstroke. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just a bit low on blood sugar. Damn it. Go get the car from the garage and put some candy in it. President, are you going out? The customer is arriving soon. Moreover, since when did you start liking sweets? Something important comes up. Postpone the meeting. Okay. Candy. Could it be that the president have fallen in love with somebody? Then I better handle it well. Get in the car. Mr. Pei, where are you going? I'm going to the suburbs. We are not seem to be on the same way. Get in the car. Mr. Pei, what is this? Director, what an idiot. It's a gift from a client. Take it for me. Remember to report back on how it tastes. Ah. Oh. This candy maker wants to collaborate with us. We need to do some sampling. Assistant Ku, this is part of the job. Rest assured, Mr. Pei. I'll make sure to complete the task. It's Belgian fine handmade chocolates. This job is pretty delightful, isn't it? Where were you that night? I... I took you back to your room. Then I went to sleep in my room. What time did you return to your room? Around one o'clock. The reception ended before twelve o'clock. Why did you go back so late after one o'clock? Because... Because... Because you have a minute after drinking. It took me some time to clean up for you. Forget it. She's too naive. It couldn't be her. She's really growing up beautifully. Uncle, I'm here to see my mother. Look! Mr. Wang, look. This is my daughter. What do you think? Guyen, say hello to Mr. Wang. Good, good. Come and sit here. Who is he? Didn't Shu Jing you say you were ill? This is Mr. Wang, a rich and powerful business person. He'd like to marry you with $500,000. If you marry him, you'll be going to live a luxury life. You lied to me. Look. This is all for your own good. Little girl, as long as you take good care of me, I will make sure you are well provided for. You will live a life of financial freedom. I thought you were really missing me. I didn't expect you just wanted to sell me out. To exchange your dollars for your son. No way. Hey, you want to run? Trying to escape, huh? Mom, I'm your own daughter. How could you do this to me? You! Ying Yu, don't brush her face. Mr. Wang likes fair skin. <laughs> Not a chance. You! Stop it! <laughs> Sen! Mr. Pei, why are you here? She left your phone in my car. Uh, you can't help us! Wanna taste more fish? I'll take you on! Ah, ah. You! Who are you? I'm arranging my daughter's marriage. You have no right to interfere. I can have you expelled from Harbor City anytime or send you to jail with no way to come out. Do you think I have the right? Let's go. Mr. Pei, the pain's gone now. Look, the red mark fired it away. Let me know if you have any trouble next time. It's my assistant. You shouldn't be bullied by anyone. Okay, Mr. Pei. Thank you, Mr. Pei. If you really want to thank me, just do your job well. Find the women of that night as soon as possible. Right. Mr. Pei is protecting me now. It's only because I'm his assistant. If he finds out I've lied to him, he'll surely retaliate even more harshly. Mr. Pei, I'll do my best to find her. Mr. Pei? Your hand is hurt. Wait a second.
This... This is too cute. It's not suitable for me. It doesn't match my style. I won't try it. It's really... Your phone is ringing. Damn it. Why can't I control it all of a sudden? Baby, let's go shopping today. Okay, baby. It's here at 7 o'clock. Mr. Pei, I'm going to the shopping store later. You are going on a date? There is an important work tonight. You'll have to work late. Weren't things just fine? And I didn't hear anything about working overtime tonight? Why is that overtime today? The order from the Great Devil Pay can't be disobeyed. Revise it. Mr. Pei, how long will this revision take? What's the matter? Have other important plans? The company policy states that female employees under 25 are not allowed to have romantic relationships. You are aware of this, aren't you? I'm not having a relationship with anyone. I just plan to go shopping with Yanshu. If I recall from orientation course, it doesn't seem to have such a rule. Doesn't look that bad. You can leave now. Oh, huh? your bandage is filling off. Let me change another one for you. How come I never noticed that Assistant Goo actually seems quite attractive? There, all done. This is crazy. I can't believe I found Assistant Goo attractive. I must be distressed of her work recently. Tidy up, and you are off duty. But I haven't finished contract yet. It's fine. We're not signing it until next Monday anyway. Not until next Monday? Is it necessary to butter me while I'm on vacation? What are you mumbling about? I'll try if you pack. Okay, Mr. Pei. Mr. Pei, about what you did today, I really appreciate it. Don't trust people so easily next time. Even those closest to you can also deceive you. Have you been betrayed by someone close to? Dad, why did you lie to me? My mother passed away when I was seven years old. Why did you lie to me? Saying she went overseas. How did she die? You only need to know that your mother was Liang Monka. No. What could it be? That Assistant Ku lied to me? Of course not. No. The elevator broke down. Mom! Mom, please don't leave! Kuyin! Don't leave. Please don't go. 